think one, we should identify what we're afraid of. That's good. What are we afraid of? Um, a very practical example. Two days ago, somebody texted me something and they had an issue with something I did. It wasn't a big issue. It was just, a, it was some miscommunication, right? I I didn't want to engage in the conversation and I know myself now enough to be able to pay attention to my body and say, okay, what am I feeling? I was like, I'm feeling anxious. Why am I feeling anxious? Because I'm afraid. Mm. What are you afraid of? And I realized that my history with, with that person is that sometimes when we have had conversations that are hard, I leave on the other end feeling bullied, right? And so I had to trace it like, oh, I'm afraid that I will be bullied. Then what are you afraid of? I'm afraid God isn't with me. So now the prayer is, yeah. God, give me the boldness to engage in this conversation with fear because I trust that you're with me. That's right? good. Right? And so like, how, like processing through the fear, bringing God into the fear and trusting yourself to God. Because even uh, Jesus, it says that like he did not revile in return because he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. And so it just the, the, our, our, even in our relationships, there's a lack of boldness because we haven't considered the reality of God's character. That's really good. That made me think about the disciples and how, like I said, when Jesus died, they went and, they went and hid because they were afraid. It was like, yo... We've been following this man, but they actually really killed him. And so mm -hmm. we, we next, right? And so they went ahead and it wasn't until Jesus appeared to them after his resurrection and basically, you know, assured them that, you know, he'll be with them until the end of the age and stuff like that. And they started to walk in this boldness. But, you know, in Acts 4, I think it was John and Peter who, who essentially, you know, uh, was out preaching the gospel and Peter ended up healing this man who was crippled mm -hmm. and they was thrown into to, to jail. And when they was thrown into jail, you know, they had to wait to the next morning for them to kind of, you know, be judged by the, by, the, by the officials and all of that. And they had all night, you know, to think about their deaths. I, 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 I wrote about this hmm. in my book, but just think about what they had to been going through, right? Um, trying to like I, look, when you when you're sitting in jail and no, knowing that you might die your mind becomes really creative yeah <laughs> yeah right you start to think about am, am i going to be beheaded mm -hmm. are they going to hang me you know are they going to crucify me like, crucify me like they did jesus 